Thank you, Raul. So, hey, everybody, Steve Ritter again. I've got a special, another special treat. Welcome back with uh, Crock-Pot with the Colonel. Today's recipe, chicken and Jezebel sauce, and this comes uh, direct from Ann McLeod in Florida. Thank you very much, Ann. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a twist, though, on the recipe. Uh, the, the one you sent me has a lot on the skillet. So this can be done on the, on the, on the stove top, cooked on the stove top. Um, I'm going to do it all in the crock pot. I've, I've got to get to work. I'm going to go to work today. I'm going to, again, I'm going to have this going all day while I'm gone. And I'm going to come back tonight and hopefully it's going to be, uh, it's going to be all done. So Jezebel, obviously Jezebel from the Bible. And I, I guess Ann was, sent me some background with this recipe. It's a Southern, uh, Southern uh, recipe that kind of came up. And uh, of course the Bible belt down in the, in the South and, Jezebel. The, the thought is is that this, 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 the sauce is a sweet and spicy at the same time. Uh, is that the way Jezebel was? I don't know. She wasn't a very, uh, she was not a person to emulate, if you know your Bible stories. But, uh, and hopefully this dish will turn out well and not turn out like Jezebel did, tossed out a window. So, um, <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go through uh, and I'm going to uh, put everything in the crock pot. I've got the crock pot already starting to warm up. I'm going to just put everything in it. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to brown the chicken this time. All I, all, the only prep I did was cut up the onions, uh, onion. Well, no, actually I did two, two smaller onions. I went a little more oniony than the, the recipe you sent me in. Um, and I, I cut up a, a lemon. I, I, I don't have a zester. So I had to kind of shave with the uh, with the outside of the knife, which, by the way, proud to say, I bought myself a new knife here. It's blue to match my Jedi skills, I guess. It's like my lightsaber blue. Uh, anyway, um, this I uh, got myself a new knife. And it's nothing like a sharp knife, you know what? If these these hotel knives, I guess people were here before opening stuff with cans. I might have done that myself. So, but uh, these these knives are not very sharp. It just makes a huge difference um, with the with the sharp knife. Anyway, uh, went in a little more oniony with this, and uh, and also the recipe called for for uh, uh, getting uh, chicken breasts and fl uh, butterflying them, which basically you you cut them in half lengthwise and then fold them over and then have them. So um that's to thin them out a little bit because the thought is is you're going to be uh browning them up or searing them or frying them a little bit in the skillet um it makes them cook quicker well i'm, I'm going to have them in the crock pot so i'm going to just go i got just chicken breast fillets but go with that so uh without further ado let's uh, cut back and we'll go uh and i'm stand by one reset We'll throw everything in the crock pot and get crack a lacking. All right, so stand by one. All right, we're back. So the first thing, I guess really what makes the sauce so sweet, the uh, peach preserves. So you're gonna start off with that. I'm gonna go with a cup. I'm gonna kinda have to eyeball this again because I don't have the uh, measuring thing. So I'm gonna go with about a cup. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> and then um, we're gonna go with a uh, tablespoon of uh, stone ground mustard. Uh, this is the closest I could find, whole grain mustard. So I think the idea is not to use the uh, yellow mustard. Again, that's gonna give it a little bit of a fiery kick. And then I've got, let me wash this, well, actually, I'll just get myself another spoon. Every spoon I use is one more dish to do. All right. Uh, and it calls for a tablespoon of horseradish, which really is going to give it the kick. Now, I, I looked and looked, could not find horseradish. I found horseradish sauce, which it's got the it's got the smell. This is obviously what they use with the uh, with the uh, prime rib. Um, I'm hoping there's enough horseradish in there to kind of cover, it, but I could not find any raw horseradish. I'm going to go a little bit strong, a little bit more than a tablespoon there, just to make sure. Okay, so there's the sweet and the fiery kick. Uh, I've got a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. I'll put that in there. 
uh, and it calls for uh, kosher salt or sea salt. I could, I looked, it's interesting, I couldn't find kosher salt here in a in an Arab country. Imagine that. Um, and uh, we're gonna go with one lemon juiced. So I'm gonna just squeeze the juice from one lemon in here. I'm probably gonna end up with some seeds in here, so I'm gonna have to got my kung fu grip. Squeezing all the lemon out. I don't have a juicer, so if you got a juicer, might be great. This is a juicy lemon. Adds that acid, which really, you know, that getting that acid, it kind of cuts through some of the savory a little bit, really brings out the flavor. So I've, I've found that. So that's why I like in a lot of smoothies. Mom would put uh, put uh, like orange juice or something like that, just to kind of cut through some of the bring the flavors out, make it pop. <laughs> All right, so I've got my, and then I'm going to add, uh, like I said, I, you can add a onion, Bella, or you can add, I, I went a little bit, about two small onions I used instead of one. Um, and again, I'm not, I'm not browning or, or not uh, softening the, the onions at all in a skillet. I'm just putting them in raw. So they'll cook in this crock pot, I'm thinking. Got onion, peach preserves. I'm gonna go with the, uh, calls for a quarter cup of water. I'm, I, I, again, that's with the, uh, that was with the skillet. Um, but again, the, when the, in the crock pot, the water's gonna cook out of those onions. So I think that's gonna work out all right. We'll, we'll see, hopefully it's not too dry. Then my horseradish, then my mustard, lemon, salt, black pepper, um, last, last but not least, of course, is the chicken itself. Now, again, I did not, uh, uh, these already came as fillets, so I've got uh, five fillets. I just didn't cut them lengthwise, so they're, they're a little thicker than what you'd have if you did this in the skillet. Actually, before I put the chicken in, what I'm going to do first is just kind of stir this around and mix this up. Oh, man. It's already starting to smell. I smell the sweet and the zesty. This is going to be pretty tasty, I think. Mm. I like things a little spicier. I, like I said, Arlene is uh, is half Thai, so in our all the Thai meals and everything else, I do like things a little spicier. Arlene's got spicy. She's she <laughs> don't want to get on her bad side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right so I kind of mix that up a little bit and all right now I'm gonna put now I'm gonna put my chicken breast in here actually let me get, I had a little bit of leftover stuff on this spoon too let's see if I can't get some of that in there sure there we go nothing to waste right all right chicken breast go in Nestle gently. And put these in there. All right. And we'll put the top on. I put it on, I'm going to cook it on low for six to eight hours. That's it. And uh, we'll see how this turns out. All right. I'm going to look back through and make sure I didn't miss anything as I, I typically do. And if I cut back and it's evening, then you know that I got everything in there. So stab by one, we'll be right back. All right, we're back now. It's been, uh, I actually turned this from low to warm at the seven hour point, about seven, a little after, a little over seven hours. So the sauce, let's take a look here. So the sauce cooked down Got a great color to it. You can see the, the chicken obviously is done. Cooked down, all the onions cooked down. It's got a wonderful sauce in it. Oh, it smells great. So I've got myself a nice pot of rice. I'm gonna make it up, I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna let y'all know what I think. So uh, I'll be right back, stand by one. 
Okay, we're back. So I can get to eat it now. It's wonderful. So here's what it looks like. And you, I took a good picture of it and posted it on the thumbnail, but oh, it smells wonderful. It's got a little sweet. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the sweet and a little bit of spicy and uh, and the onions in it. I like, uh, again, I, you can you can pair it back a little bit on the onions, but uh, I'm gonna just trust some of the sauce with the rice here. Blow on us on Burma tongue again. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet with a little bit of fire to it. Just a little bit. Nice and the chicken's tender. You get a bite of the chicken now. Finish chewing. That is wonderful. And thank you very much. Salute to you. And uh, that's a wonderful dish. Chicken in Jezebel sauce. That's a winner. Now I think, just thinking about this, I mean, this is plenty for me. This will be lunch for me for three or four days next week. Um, you, could, you can double it. The recipe, I think you'll be fine with that, especially in the crock pot, it'll be fine. Uh, and then you'll end up with more sauce. And, I, and, and Ann, like you said in your email, your sauce would be great to dip chicken, chicken strips in, fried chicken strips. Um, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Nice, easy crock pot meal. It's uh, Thursday for me. Uh, me and uh, some of the guys from work are heading out to Fujara. Uh, tomorrow over on the Indian Ocean coast of the UAE. We're going to go out there and uh, do some fishing. So I'm hoping to take my camera along and show you what that's like. Do a little uh, big fish, big fishing, going for tuna and uh, and mahi-mahi. Uh, so I'm hoping, uh, hoping to have a video with that. So um, this is the Colonel signing off. Thanks. We'll see you next time.